departure, field air 2985 with information Yankee at 900 climbing to 5000. Field air 2985, climb and maintain 13000. Climb and maintain 13000, field air 2985. Hello friends and welcome to flight level 240. This is a test video. We are playing Tracon SE 2012. It can be found in Steam. It comes with about four or five maps and there are also other maps you can purchase. They are pricey. Um, right now they are on holiday special though until New Year's so you might want to check it out. Departure. Field Air 429er with information Yankee at 900 climbing to 5000. Field Air 429er climb and maintain 12000. Climb and maintain 12000 Field Air 429er. So I've been playing Tracon SE for just a few hours to get the basic idea of the controls and the commands. I am using a microphone that is plugged into the laptop and I'm just going to take a few planes, let them take off and land one or two planes. One thing I will say about this, two things, is um, the voice control is not always 100% perfect so you really need to have a decent microphone. I have a headset microphone, I recommend that. And uh, you need to speak up for it to really pick up on you. Sometimes it doesn't, that gets me frustrated personally. <laughs> So sometimes uh, you might hear some frustration if it doesn't hear me. Um, but th this is a really good simulation. Uh, I think probably as close to real as uh, you could probably get. One thing, it doesn't have emergencies. It'd be nice to be able to program some emergencies. Also, the base game has fictitious airline names so you're not going to see Southwest you're not going to see American Airlines you can pay more for that I personally think the extra maps and paying for the real airline names is a little too pricey in my opinion so I haven't gone into that yet maybe at some point we will but um, also when you start up a, a new game it takes a long time for incoming flights to arrive like this guy down here on the left it takes a long time and he can't really keep departure it. field air 1268 with information yankee at 900 climbing to 5000 he can't really keep it running in the background and come back to it because it seems to take up a lot of cpu for some reason field air 1268 climb and maintain 13000 climb and maintain 13000 field air 1268 as far as i know all the maps that you can get for this game come with frequency and flight level data I also consult real world charts just to keep it uh, real as real as I can to see how high or how low I'm supposed to be keeping Departure. these guys Field Air 3263 with information Yankee at 900 climbing to 5000 Field Air 3263 climb and maintain 14000 Climb and maintain 14,000 field air 3263. You notice one thing I'm not saying on the departures that I'm supposed to be saying in the real world is radar contact. That's because this game does accept that command, but it has to be a separately issued command, and that's a little annoying. And so I skip that command while in the real world you would be saying radar contact, climb and maintain 7,000, or whatever. So I do skip that in my gameplays. But when they do call out, I try to make them the next call I can possibly uh, get, like in the real world. I'm going to go ahead and hand off 2985 shortly. He is at his 130. That's the window for the next trick on controller. Departure. Field Air 49003 with information Yankee at 900 climbing to 5000. Field Air 49003 proceed direct max. Climb and maintain 13000. Proceed direct max. Climb and maintain 13000. Field Air 49003. So I definitely recommend checking this out. This is a, a new interest of mine. And I'm hoping to get into air traffic control. 
as a career. Now, I am over the age limit of 29 for training. I'll uh, fill you in in a different video of my hopes for that, taking a different approach. Let's hand some of these off and example that. So I click on them, right click, and you use the, uh, the tab key. You're holding the tab key to give commands. If you're giving climb or descend instructions, you have to wait until the text turns into numbers or it won't recognize it. So let's send 1268 off. I'm handing it off to the next controller. Field error 1268, contact center on 132.25. Contact center on 132.25, field error 1268. Like I said, they do come with manuals, and it has the frequency numbers for the different uh, sectors, handing them off and such. I think it's within 10 miles of your boundary, of your airspace, or by the time in Miami's case, this is the Miami Tracon 130. Field air 2985, contact center on 134.6. Contact center on 134.6, field air 2985. We still don't have any approaching. This is, this 81 is still my first guy. Field air 3263, contact center on 132.7. Contact center on 132.7, field air 3263. You can see with the solid gold lines, the more prominent ones, those are the four different sectors for handing them off. And when you're under 100 for this uh, northern sector, it's a different frequency. Field air 4903, contact center on 124.6. Contact center on 124.600, field air 4903. Field air 429, contact center 134.6. Contact center on 134.6, field air 429. I've got a few minutes. I have really enjoyed this game so far. I've been playing for about a dozen hours. I'm really looking forward to playing Philadelphia. I've just ordered Philadelphia. Now, if you if you pay for and order some Tracon maps that aren't in the Steam version, apparently it takes a little while. It's set up to five hours. I should check my email for my confirmation and download link. I guess that's just how they have it set up. It's a little odd, but it is what it is. I'm really looking forward to doing that with you. And also New York. New York should be busier. Some maps are busier, some maps are slower. In this case, this Miami map, it's a slow start, but then it does build up a bit. I've played LAX for the most part. So I've played Miami and LAX out in California. LAX is so far the busiest map I've played. That one can get you 10 or 15 aircraft at a time. It's too bad, too, that they don't give you, like, Southwest and American Airlines and Lufthansa as the actual airlines without you having to pay extra. But uh, if you can overlook that, this is a really solid game. Good simulation. And like I said, I want to get into this as a, a career uh, of some kind, and... This is definitely good practice for that. Approach, field air 4988 with information Yankee at 9400 descending to 5000. Normally I would say radar contact, but since that has to be a separate command, I'm going to skip that. Field air 4988, turn right heading 090, descend and maintain 3000. Turn right heading 090. Descend and maintain 3,000 field air 4988. I think I shouldn't be descending in more than 5,000 until he crosses the solid line. If I look, at it, if I remember that correctly from the actual aeronautical chart in this area, but it's just a practice. He's actually not descending. Oh, there he goes. 
One thing this game does not have is emergencies and go-arounds, which is unfortunate. Uh, because that would just add a little bit to the realism. Every once in a while have a plane do something you don't expect. Um, it does have radar and wind capabilities. I don't usually use that because to me that it's distracting the way it strobes. It strobes like a real radar screen. It does look nice, but uh, it's just distracting for me, so I tend not to. I'll show you the full command panel. You can see history, game speed. I think two times speed is about right for realism. Now when I start games, usually I'll bring it up to the highest just to get some planes coming in. I think my negative score is because I don't say radar contact. If you worried about score and absolutely want to get it real, do the radar contact, but uh, I don't worry about it. You do have other options. You have that control panel, which you can bring down, and the actual flight strips, which you can use. I don't tend to use them just because I'm, I'm an amateur. I'm not professional yet. I'd like to become professional, so hopefully we get some professionals who have worked these areas to come on and give some some insight. I would love to hear from them. So you do have a, a lot of uh, options here. If I set destination on, you can see how that changes. So I'm just going to land this guy. There's two different landing options. You can set them up for visual. You can set them up for ILS. I prefer ILS because there's less commands you have to give. And uh, it's just faster for me. So like I said, this is just a test. We're testing out the microphone. We're testing out the upload. Testing out the screenshot. And uh, if, any, if people seem to be interested in this idea, we'll play a, a real a couple of real sessions and really get into it. Yeah, I think it could be a lot of fun. Departure Leslie 2360 with information Yankee at 900 climbing to 5000. Leslie 2360, proceed direct max, climb and maintain 17000. Proceed direct max, climb and maintain 17000, Leslie 2360. See how I have the departure flight path there? Uh, if you hold down control and right click on your aircraft, it'll display that. It's handy for longer or larger airspaces like LAX, especially for incoming flights. So you can see their paths. Honestly, I just want to land this guy and then departure. Uh, we'll call Field it Air One Zero Zero Four with information Yankee at nine hundred, climbing to five thousand. Field Air One Zero Zero Four, climb and maintain one three thousand. Climb and maintain 13,000 field air 1004. I haven't. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll show you how fast they can go. Uh, times six speed is how fast it can go. Departure, field air 6215 with information Yankee at 900 climbing to 5,000. See, we've got some incoming aircraft arriving. So, just for demonstration's sake, we're only going to focus on 4988, and then we'll call it a day. Let me know if you uh, would be interested in seeing more of these. I haven't actually seen these. I have seen um, some really good examples of real world, uh, a, but only a few. So, this would be interesting to me, so I figured I would give it a shot. Field Air 4988, reduce speed to 180 knots. Reduce speed to 180 knots, field air 4988. Field air 4988, turn left, heading 300. 
turn left heading 300 field air 49 or 88. So with the manual they give you the frequencies and the runways and everything. So I have a little cheat sheet beside me to tell me what is going on with tower frequencies, handoff frequencies. And actually if you really want to have some fun, which they probably don't do in the real world but just for myself, there are four different aircraft types. For example, BTRP I take as turboprop. Um, if you look on the actual airport diagram and then see where these types of planes would really go, I, I land them on air airstrips that are closest to those destinations, just for fun, sometimes. At least on like Miami, because Miami is a little bit slower than LAX. I do it just for the fun of it. Field Air 4988, cleared ILS, runway 30 approach. Cleared ILS, runway 30 approach, Field Air 4988. Let me give you one more example of how you need to give your descend and climb instructions and hold the tab key in until it does a number with Field Air 6215. Field Air 6215, climb and maintain 7000. Negative. Field Air 6215. Here's how you really do it. Field Air 6215. Field Air 6215, climb and maintain 8000. Climb and maintain 8000, Field Air 6215. So if you can't figure out, hey, why isn't this working? That's why. And now that he's on his glide path for 4 niner, I'll go ahead and hand him off. They do hand off automatically. It's probably more realistic to hand them off with my voice. There's probably more instructions that individual airspaces will need, obviously, but this game does not necessarily simulate them, like maintain 2000 until you heat, until you hit drum or something. Um, I don't know if this game actually does that, but for my purposes I, I don't. That's not something I'm practicing. Field Air 4988, contact tower 118.3. Have a good day. Contact tower on 118.3, field air 4988. Ooh. He is in my airspace and I'm not controlling him. <laughs> but like I said, there will be more videos, the more serious gameplay. I'm just testing this out and to see if there's any interest. And uh, with that... Approach, Magic 3634 with information Yankee at 5,000. You can set the arrival and departure densities. I recommend leaving both on high, otherwise it's going to be really slow. I actually have the departures set on 50%. I actually don't want Magic 3634. I'm going to send him away. Climb him to flight level 240, and thank you for checking out the channel. Brand new channel flight level 240. We'll see if there's any interest in this and we'll get another video out one day soon. Magic 3634, proceed direct Krabby. Climb and maintain flight level 240. Proceed direct Krabby, climb and maintain flight level 240 Magic 3634. Thanks so much for joining us guys and I look forward to uh, playing this in earnest with you later.